welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Fay Farm on Nintendo Switch. It looks like our <laughs> watering can is already empty for some reason. Um, it's early in the morning, it's raining, so I don't think we need to water the crops, which is kind of cool. Um, we still are working on the mine, so I thought to change it up a little bit, we're going to decorate our house today instead, I think. Um, I thought it'd be, uh, make a nice change, because we spent a long time working our way through the mines. We will get back there, of course. Uh, but I thought today, we'll just collect these things. I thought today we could maybe craft a few things and get to know our house a little better, because we haven't really spent too much time in our house at all. So we might need to go and harvest some materials, but since it's raining outside and uh, we look a little bit freezing <laughs> and uncomfortable there let's head inside and maybe craft a few things get used to moving some things around and just try and make our little house a little more cozy um so let's see what can we actually craft we've got a lot of things unlocked already so oh have we unlocked that no we need another item it kind of looks like it's highlighted but it's not uh, we can do a rustic stool. Before we craft anything, we should probably have a little look and see at the things we've got. It'd be good if we could just display the only the things that we've actually um, unlocked at the moment. So, oh, a gem polisher. Interesting. Another kind of crafting bench. Here we go. So we've got a customization mirror. So that's pretty cool if we want to change our appearance again. Um, we've got an archery target. It's kind of cool. We might put that outside if we can. A wizard's mop. Hmm, I'm nervous. <laughs> and then we don't have as many things as I thought, actually. But still, let's craft um, a stool. And we'll just put things down. I think what we'll do is uh, we'll put things down and then move it around after we've um, crafted things that we want to craft. What's this? A barrel. Ooh, a woven basket. That's pretty cute. Um, let's put this over here somewhere, just roughly. We might have two of these, actually. They're pretty cheap to craft. Uh, we've got a bed. This is interesting. Do not leave alone if animated. Hmm. Why? What does it do? <laughs> um, we need some tropical plants. Whoa, that's quite big. But we like it. Let's put one here. Um, do you know what? Let's put a few plants ar around. Oops. There we go, because I, I quite like having, um, it feels a little bit more cozy and natural to have all these plants in here. It feels kind of nice, so this barrel is very strange, um, but I feel like we should probably do it because we don't have as many items as I thought we did. Right, maybe we can make a bit of bedroom area. Let's do some carpets and things. Very quiet in here, isn't it? Um, where are the carpets? What do we got? Brick paths? We don't want some brick paths. Um, let's see. We could just go... We've got, already used the rug. What's this? A bamboo rug. I suppose we could use a bamboo rug for kind of like a bedroom area. It costs uh, only one plant fiber. There we go. How big's the bed? Can we put the bed in the corner? Let's see... Um, uh, nope. We just want to move the bed. Home options. Oh! I need to be in the uh, build mode. There we go. So we've got a little bedroom area there. It's kind of nice. Um, I don't think we would need this so close to it. Um... I might just move this down here just for a second. I think I'm going to expand the bedroom area. Oh, we can put wallpapers that we haven't got any wallpapers yet. Oh, the trim's quite cool. Let's go for this one. Any flooring? No. Wow, I didn't have I didn't have as many things as I thought. Maybe we'll have to go and see if we can buy some stuff. I guess I guess this shows how far behind we actually are compared to everybody else. I see people have put in several hundred hours already. Um, right, we'll continue with this. I'm going to place 
this here. And then I think I'm going to move the barrel close to the bed. And then maybe... There we go. The good thing about this is we can reclaim this if we decide we need the materials. So let's put this here and rotate it. That's kind of nice. Not going to be as cozy as some people's, I'm sure. Um, there we go. Like, that's kind of a cute little bedroom area until we get a better bed anyway. Um, let's move these. Yeah, was I saying something? Probably. I have to go and see if we can find some items. Do we really need this in our house? I think we probably do. It looks a bit strange though, doesn't it? Oh, we can't put it up next to the wall. It's so big. It's so big. Right, let's see if we can craft this mirror. We probably won't use it. Um, where is it? There it is. Whoa, that's quite big as well. Um, okay, that could probably be a bit of a main feature. It doesn't really go. It doesn't look very cozy, does it? Maybe we could... Can we rotate it? Oh, we can't rotate it. Oh, wait, more colours. What does this mean? Region 1. Oh, okay, so we can customise. Make it look a little bit... Uh, not so in your face, maybe. Um, it's a shame that we can't rotate it, though. That's very weird, isn't it? So it has to go against the wall. In that case... We're going to end up moving this back here. And then I'm going to put this in the corner, I think. Um, there we go. And let's just move this. Yeah, I'm not the best when it comes to decorating. I kind of like to make little areas. Um, what way is this best? Yeah, then we've got a little area we can walk up to the mirror. It kind of takes your eye off it because it's very kind of whimsical and mystical. So it's not really kind of cozy farmhouse cabin. But I guess some of these items are quite uh, mysterious, aren't they? Put that here. So maybe, what even is that? A pile of letters. And this is kind of cozy as well. So maybe we would have that in kind of the bedroom area. Separate that. Um, okay, I forgot we had these things. You know what? I'm just going to put one either side of the door for now. Maybe we'll separate the area a little bit more when we get some more furniture items. I'm going to put that in front of the desk so it kind of looks like it's something that we can sit on. Um, let's see here. Can we get this up? Oops. Get this here and maybe turn it a little bit. That's kind of nice. The bedroom area looks really cute, actually. And then we've got these. Not really sure what to do with these. Maybe we'll stick them in the corner for now. Right, what have we not used? We've got a log, but I don't know why we would have that inside. We've got to... Ooh! A squid bars. <laughs> random. Very random. Let's craft it anyway. Again, we could always get the stuff back if we need it. Oh, we're out of plant fibers. Oh, uh, we can't make the wizard mop now so let's reclaim this and now we should be able to craft the wizard's mop i feel like that's more important to have what does it do i don't know oh well there we go we haven't got any wallpapers or anything i think we've crafted everything we really can unless we want like a random box um can we keep things in them? The log is not really... It's kind of pointless having it inside, isn't it? Do we need a clay pot? Why not? Maybe this can be our... Oops. Maybe this can be our... Oh, 
I keep pressing the wrong button. Sorry about that. Uh, this is going to be our kind of area that we're going to clear out. So it seems like we've just moved in, which we actually have. So <laughs> let's put that there. Okay, so that's kind of like our leftover from moving in that we're going to kind of sort through later. Um, but this is kind of, I guess, the whimsical, magical, um, otherworldly, I guess. I can't think of another word. Kind of like fantasy corner where the magic uh, helps us change our appearance. And uh, I'm guessing this broom comes alive. And of course, we could do some kind of futuristic potion making. And then we've got a cute little bedroom here, which is kind of nice. I like it on the rug. We've been able to separate the room a little bit. Um, so not too bad, considering we're only on like the third week, basically. And we haven't done too much other than focus on the mine. So it's nice to spend a little bit of time here. I think what we should do, though, is now head to the market area. And uh, we will get back to the mines um at some point but i thought it we deserved a bit of a break from it so we're gonna go and see if we can buy some stuff um yeah i'd really like to get some more furniture and things so these are all seeds aren't they house expansion oh yeah probably should sell some things shouldn't we I always like to make a point of selling at least something. Just to keep our money rising every time we play. Um, toasted berries. Because then if nothing else, we've earned a little bit of money. Okay. Uh, oh, is this uh, Handy Items General Goods Store? Let's see. Oh, yeah, a bag. Um, so, oh, so there is other stuff we can buy, but we need certain materials on us. We've just used a load of materials. Look at these cute shelves. Where do we get an empty shelf from? Oh, I like the scroll. Where do we get rope from? Any new clothes? An adventure casual. What are we wearing? I can't remember. Are we wearing the... Oh, no. We're not wearing the beekeeper, are we? We've still got so much to discover. Ah, there you are. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. The books are really cute, aren't they? Decorative books. Let's purchase those. Oh, here's the bookshelf. Where's, where do we get an empty shelf from? And I also want to get the library wallpaper. That is so cute. That is perfect for our cabin. Wait, can we go inside here? No. Oh, look at these books. Getting all wet in the rain. Okay, so I think there's some more shops over here. Oh, yes, this is the flower shop, isn't it? We did say we were going to do some flowers, didn't we? Floral wool. We need some paper. Where are we getting paper from? And another item that requires an empty shelf. Random. I guess we need to do some quests. Can we go in here? Some of the buildings we can go in. Oh, if it's got a door that's kind of like a jar, then I guess we can go in. But if not, it's just... Uh... Oh. What was that? What? Someone just disappeared right in front of us! <laughs> this is the potion making shop, isn't it? Uh, have you spoken with the mayor? Yeah, she works really hard to take care of the town. <gasps> I'm so intrigued by this empty shelf business. Okay, so... Oh, do we have it in our... Where did our shelf bookshelf go? Or the books that decorative books that we just bought. It's already getting late. Um, there's nothing else here. Oh, is that we've bought it and it's gone? Oh, maybe it gets mailed to us. 
I uh, I wasn't reading. <laughs> it probably says, "Ooh, oh, delicious." Just chilling. Oh, it's a scroll. <laughs> Mustard tire rug. We haven't found a scroll in a while, have we? Hello, I love watching blossoming trees in spring. Me too. Oh, flour and buttered. I don't know why, but I'm going to buy three of each. Just so we've got them on us. Um, maybe it just means we can make something. Oh, investigate. Oh, there's a scroll here. A burlap sack. We already have one of those in our home. I'm really kicking myself for not pre-ordered it um, the day before we got it. We got it on launch day. And if you pre-ordered, you got some really cool bonus items. And I don't know if they're ever going to be available for everyone else. Because it kind of defeats the point of having pre-ordered bonus items. But I would really like to put a frog in our home. Do you think we can do that? There's nothing else here that we can put in, is there? Where did our book go? It must have gone in our build thing because it's not in our pockets unless we have a separate pocket for things that we've got um oh a bath oh if there's the recipe we just unlocked oh it was a recipe that we bought we need an undiscovered item, something. What would you use to make those books? Some sort of material. Okay, what's... We haven't made a gem polisher yet, have we? Whoa, this is crazy. Huge. Why does it need to be that big? Look at the size of it. Um... We're going to have to move this and try and fit this in the corner, I think. There we go. Even though it doesn't kind of go in the corner, that, that's the same issue we had with this thing. Maybe we could put that outside. Why would we need to polish some gems? Um... Uh, There we go. We'll get. We'll let it start polishing gems. There we go. Yeah, I really like the way our house is coming together. I especially like the sleeping area. That's really cute. Uh, this is kind. Of, I wish we had a different room because I feel like this just doesn't go with our, the aesthetic we're going for. And even this is kind of closer to what we're going for. Um. Oh, we can access our storage room in our house. I wonder if we could put a frog in our house. Um, transfer. Let's see. <gasps> we can put frog in our house! But it doesn't really do anything. We've just technically dropped it. So it's just kind of chill in there. <laughs> That's a shame. I was kind of hoping it was going to, um, like, hop around or something. Um, okay, let's go and... It's nearly bedtime, so it's nearly the end of the first day already. That goes so quick. Um, we're going to just leave some stuff building, I think. Um, is there anything that we need to harvest? Oh, it's cauliflowers. Okay, we're going to run out of time. Let's go and... See if we can cook these. Leave them cooking overnight. We weren't in a rush at all. And now we are in a rush. <laughs> uh, oh, what's this? We've already done glass, I think, haven't we? Stone brick, clay brick, glass. Let's just create one. Okay, that's the end of the day. It's going to go to the summary any second now. So that was quite nice. This this is why an, another reason it's kind of a like 
a game like this is really worth playing and investing time into is because you can just do what you want. There's no pressure. There are quests to do, of course, but you don't have to go in a, a specific direction. If we want to spend a day decorating our house, that's exactly what we can do. He said, I'm still confused about the whole empty bookshelf thing. We're going to have to try and find where we can get that from. I'm sure... Oh, I just realised our gems had been polished. Um, let's go back in and grab the gems. It's a nice sunny day by the look, so... Um, let's just grab these. Oh, so ten... We have to give ten to polish them into a single gem. Ten crystals to polish into one gem, so... Uh, we didn't leave anything there, did we? I feel like we've been playing some time, but we haven't even cleared this area yet. But I do like kind of the wild look, so I'm, no, I'm in no rush really to um, clear this area. We will get around to it at some point. Our trees are fully grown, but our apple tree has not produced any apples yet. Right, we, met, we better harvest some stuff. I do you wonder how much longer our beans are going to last? There's our little animals. Reminds me we need to um, pet them and give them some attention. Okay, it's better just to stand in the middle and just keep pressing A and it automatically goes to the next square that you need to water. Some of them we must have planted on different days. I'm just going to quickly fill up the watering can. Got a couple more beans to harvest. There we go. So that's those. I don't think we've got any more of these that we can build. I forget we could do so much more outside. Look at these fences! An iron fence! Oh, this is kind of nice. The split log fence. Um. Oh, what's this? Lowlands Critter Conservatory. A delightful home for... Oh, we need it! <laughs> we need that! I want that in our house. We need some fibres and some beach lumber. To do that. Um, okay, so we should be able to just fill this area, hopefully. Um, okay, cool. We won't have to worry about any more areas for a while. This is pretty big. I'm kind of tempted to put a fence around here, though. But right, let's let's cut a tree down if we can. How do we get out of this mode? Right. <laughs> I was trying to cut a tree down. Oh, look at this. These little things floating in the air. Right. Oh, oh these are oak trees, aren't they? Of course. Looks like we're clearing some areas. Right, where are the beech trees? We haven't planted any more beech trees, have we? Beech logs. How many do we need? Oh, beech lumber. Where do you get beech lumber from? Oh, I thought we just needed beech uh, logs, which we've got tons of. haven't got enough um we can get silt plant fibers and stone brick but what what's beach lumber then Aww. 
There we go. Can I brush our little hopscotch? We should probably feed them as well. Um, I think our backpack is full as well. What? We have so much stuff. <laughs> it fills up really quickly. Um, I'm just going to put it all in. There we go. I'm sure as we do more quests, we're going to unlock more items. And that's when we'll get things like empty bookshelves and find out what the lumber is. There we go. Keep the animals happy. I think we can get even more animals as well. We can get six in this barn alone. Oh. Peacock butterfly. Okay, let's have a little. Ooh. We should probably make more of an effort to catch some bugs because we could sell those. But let's have a little wander around. Maybe we could buy another animal. What's up here? Is this a place we can get to? Maybe not. Oh, we could just take the easy way and go up the stairs. more beech trees. Maybe this will give us the lumber. Nope, just logs. So we must have to craft the lumber somehow. Because these trees aren't on our farm, we're going to harvest them. I think it is important to keep doing a little bit of everything because then we can grow up uh, grow up. We can go up levels. Uh, and maybe that's also how we unlock things. Let's chop this tree down. This is a big tree! <laughs> it's so big. It, you feel, even using the controller, you, I feel like I can feel the difference. Okay, is this something that our thing can handle? No, our magic staff can't deal with this smoke right now. We can get rid of these though. Huckleberries and more plant fibers. Oh, it's freezing. Whoa. Okay, I think we just have to gonna have to just test it, aren't we? Yeah, we're freezing up here. We need some kind of heat. Oh, we turned it into an icicle. That is not. That is not good. What just happened? We're getting teleported back. Okay, so we need some kind of warmth potion, I think. Still kind of cool to check out these new areas. I had no idea that is up there. Let's see if we can find another little area. I do like to explore. So that was up to the freezing bit. Oh, it's starting to get cold here already. A wooden cross fence. Lots of fences in this game. Be gone! Leave these animals alone. Oh, scrolls everywhere. This is what we want to see. Okay, another rug. A bale. Hay fence. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I thought this was the wood that we needed. Do people mind us going on their property and just Taking things. <laughs> I'd like to get one of these cow things. Yeah, we're stealing all your food. Okay, can we buy one maybe? Good to see you. I miss the snow, but spring's weather's fine too. Just go up the mountain. Pretty sure there's snow up there. Animal breeding services. Okay, I can provide breeding services for your darling Mamu or Woolly Horn. 
I also sell breeding charms and pillows. What are you looking for today? I guess looking for the items. Oh, we haven't, we can't buy any. More just undiscovered items. So this is, oh look, I can see that undiscovered item is one of those um, little gems. That's some glass or something. Okay, so breeding items, we, that's something we can get later on. Um, I'd like to buy one of the cows or something. Oh, I accidentally did a quest. Oh, not so bad. Say now, one farmer to another, have you been experimenting with soil beds and fertilizers? Don't you worry now, I'll take talk you through it. You know how to different uh, how different produce is only available during certain seasons. Well, uh, now what do you think would happen if you could always have spring soil? Oh, so this is going to go into the realms of harvesting different things at different times of the year, like based on the soil and types of fertilizer we use, I guess. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you can start playing with the fertilizers. Some of them can speed up growing and some in speed increase your yield. And some, if you'll believe it, even have a chance to transform your crop into something else entirely. That is random. Uh, if you're ready for it, why don't you try your hand of fancy farming with fertilizers? Uh, okay. I guess we could... Uh, to reactivate the mine one, I think we will have to go back to... Well, maybe it stays active in the background. If not, we'll have to find the Cleo again. Good, good. Now, I'll tell you what. I'll give you this uh, bounteous fertilizer to test out. Go on and add it to one of your veggie beds and see what happens. Oh, the quest is still up there. That's fine. So that's kind of the main quest. Okay, let's head down here. Maybe we'll find some more scrolls or something. Oh, this is probably where we buy... Yes, this is where we buy the animals from, isn't it? Wow, I thought this was the place we were just at a second ago. Yeah. Greetings! Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. Oops. Okay, buy another animal. I feel like we could get another one. Let's do a little... Are they the same price? Okay, let's do another Chiku. Henrietta. Oh, we have to take one at a time, don't we? Come on, Henrietta. Follow me. Are you following me? Okay, follow me. Let's go put you in... The farmhouse or the barn. <laughs> Woohoo! Here we go. I feel like we were further away than that. Okay, I think we have to register it here. We're going to put it underneath this one. Roberta and Henrietta. Nice. Can we give you a little pet? <laughs> it looked like we just ate the chiku. Okay, I'd quite like to see if we can get one of the cow things. Back we go. See, it's also okay, I feel like, to have one of the days where... We just experiment. And... And... Oh, flutter dust. Nice. Uh, just experiment, just explore, have a look around. You don't have to do something every single day. Can we buy something from you, maybe? Good to see you. Uh, before you arrived, it's been a long time since we had a... F yeah, we I think these need some new dialogue. Um, greetings dialogues. Oh, this is the bre breeding service. Oh, we're in the wrong area again. No. Oh. I forgot this place existed. How do we buy a cow then? Uh, I can provide green services. Animal breeding. Let's just see. 
Okay, we provide cleaning service for the Darling Mama. Or we're, okay, I think we need to get one first, so. That's something we'll have to look into later. Right, let's see what this place is again. Uh, eager to teach anyone who comes to her lessons. You've met everyone on the island. I love learning from people, but I don't want to impose or make people feel like they're being interrogated. Oh, I was hoping you had a shop. I think we've, at this point, I'm like, I think we found all the scrolls that we're supposed to find. This is the fish fishing shop. Lots of fossils and mussels and things here. Scary looking cave. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to do like some more quests outside of the mine. What is this shop? Let's have a look in here. It's always good to check into a building because then we might know for future reference. Ooh, lots of scrolls. This is so detailed, isn't it? I want like a little mezzanine in my house. That would be so cool. Hey, good to see you. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad you were able to clear out those thorns. Before you arrived, it's been a long time since the new phase. Yeah, everyone keeps telling me. Not a lot in there to do. Um, we, I don't want to chat with people that are going to start the quest just yet. Oh no, not the whirlpool! <laughs> Right, I don't think there's anything else we can upgrade here yet. This is where we upgrade our tools with Cinder. Open shop. So the next things we need to do, we need more iron ingot. To do the rest, so. Let's go and see if we can craft any more iron. I was a bit reluctant to use it in case we needed it for the seals. Which I think we do. Um, but we could get a couple. Let's just have a quick look. So iron, ingot. There we go. So what do we need? Oh, we can only do two. Let's craft two. We can use those hopefully for the tools. Might as well cook everything that we've got, including the egg. This is almost night time again. It goes pretty quick. Um, I think it's best to check which seals we need first. There's a lot of undiscovered items, I think. We're still going to have to work our way through the... Um, mines. Right, let's put everything that we've caught in our pockets. And then we can hopefully sort these. I type. There we go. So we've got all our seals are together. So we've already got some seals in here. Have we got any iron ingot already? Oh, we've already, <laughs> already made some glass. That's fine. It's looking a little bit more organized, though. So that will, the rest will be done by tomorrow. And there we go. Might as well have no mail here. Might as well go and have a last look at our little house. I would like to know where to get, like, the paper from, the empty shelf, and also the lumber. Um, but our house is coming along okay. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm most pr mostly proud of the kind of bedroom area here. So, 
we can even stand on our barrel because why not? <laughs> there we go. Let me know what you think of this kind of bedroom area. Um, and if you have any ideas, I think we'll get things like wallpaper and that like in the coming days, uh, the more quests we do. I'm sure once we're out of the mine, a lot of the game opens up. It's just a huge task. And I didn't really want to kind of do that again because uh, at least today I wanted a bit of a break from the mine. So it wasn't too much of the same. But there we go. Probably head back there or maybe do some quests in the next one. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're going to end it here. The day is nearly over. It's two days we've just gone through. It does go quick. Um, but at least we have had a little time to experiment with our house. And I actually really like it. I would probably put some more plants in here as well actually to fill up some of the space. But I think it's looking cute. Let me know what you think. I hope you're enjoying Fave Farm. I'm sure you're way ahead of me by now. Um, so if you do have any tips or tricks, feel free to leave them in the comments. I do read them all and I'll get back to most people um, as and when time allows. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying everything. Thank you, of course, to channel members as well. I uh, couldn't do it without you. Everyone watching is absolutely awesome. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.